Well, we're going to go to Melina Abdullah now, organizer with Black Lives Matter, also professor and chair of Pan-African Studies at California State University. She's joining us from Los Angeles, where she recently was arrested. Melina Abdullah, can you talk about that arrest and how you see it related to, well, who may be the next president of the United States? Sure. So, on Monday, three of us Black Lives Matter organizers were arrested um, for standing up for a brother named Carnell Snell, who was killed um, last Saturday by LAPD um, in a rash of police murders in Southern California. So, on Friday, Pasadena police killed J.R. Thomas, beating and tasing him to death in the presence of four of his children and his pregnant partner. Um, and the very next day, they killed 18-year-old Carnell Snell in South Los Angeles. Um, witnesses say that he was shot in the back five times as he was running away from the police. And then the very next day, Daniel Perez, a 16-year-old boy, um, was killed um, while holding a fake gun. They said that he pointed it at police and was trying to commit suicide by cop. Um, we're at the point where it's just an emergency. It's a state of emergency in black communities and in brown and poor communities here in Los Angeles. So, on Monday, the chief of police here, Charlie Beck, who's one of the worst police chiefs in history, um, killing more people than are being responsible for the killing of more people at the hands of police than any other um, uh, police force in the entire country, he tried to have a closed-door press conference where only members of the LAPD press pool were admitted. And so, several of us who were um, there standing up for the people who'd been killed over the weekend refused to disperse. And myself and Patrice Cullors, one of the co-founders of Black Lives Matter, along with one of our organizers, Nikki Okuk, um, were all arrested for failure to disperse. And I think it ties into who our next president will be, because um, we hear both of the mainstream candidates talking in terms um, that are untrue for black and brown folks. So they're saying things like, police want to reform themselves as much as communities want them to reform. And that's absolutely untrue. What we're recognizing as communities that uh, we're, we're finding ourselves under a state of siege. And we realize that it's beyond minimal reform that we need. We really need kind of a backing away and recognition that public safety is much more than policing. And what we need is a divestment from the police who kill our people constantly and with impunity and investment in the things that actually make communities safe. So, livable wage jobs, uh, mental health resources, after-school programs, good schools, arts programs, recreational programs, all of the things that are needed to build safe communities. And we don't hear either of the um, mainstream candidates talking in those terms. Mm. I just want to um, talk about some breaking news. Billy Bush, the video was of Donald Trump and Billy Bush. Billy Bush, the cousin of Jeb and George Bush, the former president of the United States. CNN is reporting Billy Bush has been suspended from the Today Show, NBC News says, days after the video of his 2005 talk with Donald Trump surfaced. Uh, also, uh, CNN is reporting that uh, Donald Trump has appeared with women who, in the past, accused Bill Clinton of inappropriate sexual activity. They're expected to attend the debate tonight. Melina Abdullah, your thoughts on this? I think that when we think about what Donald Trump has proven himself to be time and time again, someone who ascribes to rape culture, someone who um, is beyond patriarchal, um, really misogynistic towards women, I think that what we're seeing is the intersection of both white privilege and male privilege. Um, remember, Donald Trump is the same one who had the audacity to take out a full-page ad against um, the Central Park Five and say that they should get the death penalty. And later, we find out that they're actually innocent. You, do you know how hard it is to prove innocence? Yet these young men were proven innocent. And yet, he wants us to believe that when he says the things that he says, that we should take a boys will be boys approach, that this is just the way men talk. And um, we can't afford to do that. We have to recognize what it means for women, what it means for girls, but also 
what it means when we contrast his behavior with the behavior um, or um, accusations hurled at black men constantly. Melina Abdullah, we want to thank you very much for being with us, organizer with Black Lives Matter, professor and chair of Pan-African Studies at California State University in Los Angeles.